Hey Gemini Collective, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, let's jump into your reading. We are doing something different and fun today. We are doing future new love. Who's coming towards you? Some of you could already be connected to this person, already know this person. Obviously, it could be even someone coming from the past for a new start. I don't know. Let's just get into it. Who? Let's see. What's the first question? How will you meet this person? If you already know them, this will be how you met them. How will you meet this person? We have the strength card and we have the three of swords. Hmm. You, okay. This is Leo energy and Libra energy. You're going to meet this person at a time when you're grieving some kind of breakup. Some kind of connection is ending and this person is going to shoot their shot. Some of you, this might be somebody who's very influential, a very confident person, and they're going to come after you knowing that they can get you. So Leo season could be significant. A Leo could be significant. A Libra or Libra season. I feel like it's going to be a situation where you're not looking for it necessarily. You may be open to love right now, obviously, if you're watching this. But it's like somebody is maybe watching you and waiting to shoot their shot because you have ended something else or when you end something else. Let's see when, when, when will you meet this person? Um, yeah, because the, the uh, strength card is a peacemaker. This is a peacemaker after a period of, I'm telling you, you're going through something hard. I know that that's probably hard to understand as a how, but that's what I'm feeling. Those are the circumstances that are going to be present. Okay, so we have, look at this healing. When you will meet this person, when you heal from some kind of long-term commitment that did not work out before with, um, we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Aquarius energy here. So those signs could be, you know, affiliated with this or maybe not. I don't know. Could be in those seasons. Some of you could be traveling. Some of you could be traveling for work. Okay. When you meet this person, a lot of travel for work is coming out. Show me um, if something blocking this. What's blocking this? We have the magician just going for it with the lovers. Gemini, Virgo energy. What's blocking it is being somebody going for it. And it could be because somebody else is in a connection already. Somebody is already around you, I feel. This person is going to help you to heal from some kind of long-term relationship that went sour. Okay? Could be another Gemini or Virgo. A lot of Mercury energy. The communication going to be really on point. I feel like when somebody actually does shoot their shot, for sure. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So what are we on now? We're on what um, do you need to do to prepare for this? So what's blocking the connection is somebody just not shooting their shot. I feel like somebody's already watching you. What do you need to do to be ready for this? We have the Four of Wands. This Aries energy. What is this that flipped? And the Ace of Cups. Wow. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. When you feel like you belong with someone, you're going to know it. When they feel like home. Yeah. The question is, what do you need to do to be ready for this relationship? I feel like work on your stability here. Like your, uh, what am I trying to say? Foundation. Because this is about foundations. Stable. Stability, rather. Not stable. Stability. The Four of Wands. This is a twin plane for some of y'all. So what you need to do, like I said, is work on your stability. And I think also this is with your emotions as well. Being emotionally available. This is why I think there's something here that has to heal before this person will approach you. Because they're going to really want to be with you. I feel like they're already around you. I, I do. But some of you are coming out of something and this person could live in your community or something like that. It could be around you a lot. Even if that's working together, I don't know. But there's somebody here with their eye on you who has intentions to move forward toward you. You just don't know it yet. And this person is confident. It's not like they're shy or anything, but they want to wait to the proper time because maybe they know you just ended something or whatever the case might be. This could even be a friend for some of y'all. But I feel like what you need to do is make sure that you're stable in every way, but especially emotionally. When you're emotionally stable, show me um, what this person is like, some characteristics of the person. Wow, justice. Some of you, this is a Libra. And then we have the Tower. This is a person who's very fair. 
very honest, a lot of integrity, could be a Libra. We have Scorpio energy here, Aries energy, Scorpio energy with the tower. This could be a person who um, has been married before, but they're divorced. Or they could be coming out of a really tumultuous relationship. They're very fair, though. Very honest. A lot of integrity. And I feel like they're the type of person who is very controlled. So, like, they have more feelings than they show with the tower. Their feelings may be hidden. This person, they, they already want you right now. I'm telling you all now. Somebody is watching you. Show me um, the characteristic of the relationship. Yeah, it's going to be very balanced. Very good communication. I already told you all that with all of that Mercurian energy there. Some of you, this is a Capricorn, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. The communication is key to this connection. The characteristics of this relationship is a lot of fun, a lot of travel, staying on your toes. This person is going to keep you on your toes. And a lot of them is because they may travel for work. I see that. They travel for work. This person could be, I call this my busybody card. They could be a very well-traveled person. They're going to want to take you out of your comfort zone if that's not your thing. But it's going to be a very balanced relationship. Somebody who knows how to prioritize has a very busy schedule with, um, you know, the work-home life balance. And even here, work-home life balance. Okay. The future potential. Oh, the Empress. So much love. Y'all got a baby coming if, you, if you're still able to conceive and give birth or get somebody pregnant or if that's something you want. A Libra or Taurus. Yeah, a baby's going to be coming. First come love, then come marriage. Then come Gemini with the baby carriage. Okay, let's see. Let's get some um, who, what, where. This person has an odd numbered birth year. Okay, so their birth year ends in an odd number. Your paths will cross during the next air season. And y'all, look what's crazy. I mean, look, what, look what's so funny. I said look what's crazy. Look what's funny. The Empress, under the Empress is the Ace of Swords, a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. So this is when you're going to come across this person during the next air season, air sign season. That would be Libra, right? Yeah. I told, I keep telling y'all, cancel the Libra season. Watch how these relationships going to turn around for the better. Watch. This person has a triple syllable first name, like Stephanie. Okay, Melanie, y'all get it. <laughs> I know I ain't talking to foolish people. Y'all know what a three syllable first name is, but you know, for the people who may not, you know, I don't know. Why am I dropping all my cards? Let's get some of my own oracle who, what, when, where, how. Let's get some characteristics. Okay, so we have um, this is your divine. Wow, you got the lovers coming out again. Some of y'all is another Gemini. This person could be introverted. I'm not getting that. I'm not getting that because we got, well, maybe in the sense that they, um, they're very poised with this justice card. I don't think they do things in, you know, to the extreme. Hesitant. Yeah. Cautious, guarded, a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, protective of self, um, curious, but needs more information. I told you this person is waiting. They're watching you go through some kind of separation or heartbreak or whatever, breakup. Or maybe they just feel like you're not approachable for some reason, but they're, they're trying to figure out their strategy, okay? This person is strategist. They're strategist. Let's get some um, possible zodiac signs. We have Taurus, another Gemini, a Leo. A Capricorn or a Virgo. Okay. Possible initials you could be dealing with. I'm only going to try to get like five of them because I mix them up and then so we don't keep getting the same ones. Let's want like five. Oh, I got five exactly. We have K, J, E, D, and X. Well, those are some, some different kind of initials. Hmm. Somebody's name could be Jake or Jack or something like that. I got to get this card off the floor. Okay, y'all. Let's see. Let's get a piece of advice for you. How you can speed this process along. What the spirit want you to know in closing. Comfort. How can you bring more comfort into your life? You can increase your comfort through tangible things such as soft clothes, 
and food and intangible things such as thinking, loving thoughts about yourself and inviting peace into your heart. So, um, yeah, some of y'all may need to work on the way that you're thinking about things to magnetize this connection. That's it, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.